Welcome everybody. My name is Ken Bickers. I uh, am professor of political science and chair of the political science department. Uh, we'll be getting started here in just a moment. Let me tell you what uh, uh, we'll be doing in this uh, recorded uh, commencement uh, celebration. Um, in, in just a moment, I, I'll talk for a few minutes, um, introduce then our uh, associate chair for uh, undergraduate, the undergraduate program, uh, Janet Donovan. Um, uh, we will uh, get to see the, the faculty uh, cheering all of, all of you graduates on, um, and we will be uh, reading the names of, of all of our new uh, graduates. Uh, we're, we're delighted and, and pleased um, to be able to do this with you. We would love to be in person with you um, and, um, in, the, in the big Glenn Miller uh, ballroom and, and having some really yummy cake afterwards. Uh, but uh, in these COVID times, uh, this is how we're able to celebrate with you at your graduation. So we'll be getting started in uh, just a moment. Welcome 2021 spring political science graduates. We're delighted to share in this moment with you. Um, we would love to be in person with you. Um, you've lived through a very strange time this last year and, uh, and, and a few months, and we've all gotten used to being remote and hybrid and online and all of those kinds of things. So this is no exception. Uh, we're coming to you in this uh, remote sort of way, uh, but we wanna recognize your accomplishments, um, having made it through college and graduating uh, with a Bachelor of Arts with a major in political science. Uh, we're we're uh, delighted for you, we're proud of you. Uh, I also wanna welcome uh, the, the parents, the grandparents, aunts, uncles, siblings, children, who are watching this, um, this video uh, with you or wherever they are. Um, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to share in the, the commencement, the moving forward of, of these graduates. Uh, we've spent the last four years, and in some cases more than four years with, with these students. We've uh, learned from these students. Uh, we've aged a bit. My hair was a little browner and now it's a, it's a whole lot grayer. Um, but we've, we've had fun, we've had challenges. Um, it is um, this graduating class will have stories to tell uh, to their children and their grandchildren or their friends. Uh, they'll be able to share in their COVID uh, stories, their quarantines, their testing and all of those kinds of things. Along the way, um, uh, these students have been taking uh, classes in a variety of different modalities, um, words that I hope that we can all soon forget, synchronous and asynchronous and hybrid and all of those sorts of things. Um, but we are, we are uh, uh, impressed with how much they have learned, how much they have grown. Um, and so uh, welcome to all of you. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to be able to share uh, in, the, in the joy and the celebration of, of completing um, college and having an undergraduate degree um, is a marvelous thing. I, I want to um, also give a, a welcome to the faculty who are uh, watching this and that have uh, obviously participated in providing classes. Uh, we, have a, uh, we have a lot of very dedicated, uh, engaging faculty who are doing interesting kinds of things and bringing their enthusiasm, their research, their, their knowledge into uh, classrooms to share uh, with all of you students who are who are graduating today. Um, uh, they too want to say uh, congratulations and and there will be an opportunity for that uh, here in a few minutes. Uh, I want to uh, welcome and thank the staff that have uh, helped you all find your way around campus or uh, navigate your way through the the program, the the advisors that have uh, worked with you to make sure you were getting into classes you needed. Um, and so, um, and to make sure that you got to this point successfully where you uh, can in this virtual uh, odd way, walk across the stage and, and in this virtual way, uh, receive a diploma. We obviously are not doing those things, but uh, in spirit, uh, that is precisely what we are doing uh, with you today. Uh, so I wanna welcome uh, and thank the staff uh, and the advisors. Also graduate students that have, that have led recitation sections, uh, a few of the very advanced graduate students that are 
uh, on the verge of getting their PhD or have just recently gotten their PhDs uh, have sometimes been the instructors for your for your classes. Um, and, and they are very much invested in, in your success. They're not that far removed from, from uh, when they were in a situation uh, much like uh, you are now. Where you go from here is something that we hope we have contributed to in some uh, important way, the kinds of, of uh, career options that you pursue, the kinds of, of things that you learn, the way in which you engage the world. We hope that we have helped you learn to be more uh, critical, perhaps a bit more skeptical about, about what you hear in the news and, and, and what uh, people are saying to you, to, to have given you some skills so that you can uh, test hypotheses. Hypotheses we can think of hypotheses as the, the way any human, any intentional human artifact uh, can be thought of. Uh, that it, it's an intention to create some sort of a, of a change or an outcome. And sometimes that works and sometimes it does not. So having critical skills and the ability to reason through those hypotheses, whether it's a public policy or a change to an electoral system, uh, whether it's a, um, a proposed peace agreement between uh, nations. Those are hypotheses, and that's part of what we have uh, tried to instill in you is, is the, the ability to formulate hypotheses and to think about what kind of evidence uh, should be marshaled to test those hypotheses, to be able to ask whether those policies, those institutions, those agreements are likely to work in the way in which we hope that they will work, but which sometimes they do not. Um, so um, I, I want to remind you that the things that you have learned along the way, we want you to be able to use those things in your future as you move into career and to life um, and all of those various kinds of things that, that, that you do. We also wanna stay connected to you. Um, so the, the foundation, no doubt, will be reaching out to you, the advancement team, all of that sort of thing. But I mean this in a more, uh, more direct, personal way. We want to hear from you. We want to find out when you've passed another major milestone in, in your life. If you go on to get a graduate degree or you, you take a position and you're advancing through that, uh, stay in touch with us uh, uh, through social media, uh, send an email, uh, use particularly LinkedIn, those kinds of mechanisms. So we know what kinds of wonderful things that you are doing, because that happens. Uh, you may not be thinking about all of those things today, but just in this last week, I was writing a, a recommendation letter and I was comparing uh, a student in this recommendation letter to some students that I have taught uh, through the years in, in, a, in a very favorable sort of way. I was comparing this student to these former students, one of whom is a, a judge on a, on a US federal uh, a, a court of appeals, uh, one of the, the circuits, the appellate circuits. Another is a former um, a deputy chief of staff of one of the major um, departments of the federal government. I have students that are uh, successful lawyers now and, and others that are in politics and in government and in nonprofits um, and doing all kinds of very interesting things. And, and we really love to hear those kinds of stories. It's part of what keeps us young and fresh, even when we are not quite as young and as fresh as we might have been uh, at the time that you came through our program, we still want to we still want to hear from you because we're invested in you, your success, your future. Um, and we were we are really delighted uh, in that. So I'm going to turn the floor over to uh, one of our two associate chairs. Uh, Janet Donovan, who is the director of undergraduate studies, and she's going to say a few things. Um, and, um, uh, and I want to say congratulations um, and, uh, and let's stay in touch. Thank you. Hello and welcome. Welcome class of 2021. You have made it. And my name is Janet Donovan and I am here with you today as someone who many of you had in class, also as the director of undergraduate studies and the director of our honors thesis program. And in all of those capacities, I say congratulations and you did it. I've also had the opportunity to get to know many of you well over these years. And I'm so excited to see some of the names that I remember from 1101 uh, when you first started in Intro to American Politics 
on our list of, of graduates now. And so you did it, you made it, uh, and we are so proud of you. We hope that uh, you think of political science as your home. I am joining you from Ketchum Hall right now, a place that some of you may have been recently, but others may think of as a more distant memory. And uh, we are still here, and we hope that you will visit us and keep in touch with us and let us know what you're doing out there in the world. As I sat down here today, I started to think a lot about the really eventful last few years that we've had that all of you have been with us for. And I really started to think about how hard that was. You know, I knew it as it was happening, but thinking about it all together, how hard it had to be uh, for those of you who are you know, young and busy and stressed uh, to go through all the things that we have gone through uh, in the last you know, three, four, five years uh, that you have been with us. And we just want you to know that we are very proud of you and that we know that it has been hard. And so this accomplishment is more significant than it is in a regular year, that what you really have done over the last few years in the face of everything that's happened has been quite amazing. And your know, parents, family, friends who are with your graduates, I know you've been through all of this with them. And again, uh, it's, it's truly an amazing accomplishment that, that everyone has been able to make it through here uh, and be with us today. And so I hope that you can be really proud, again, especially in light of how much has happened uh, during the time that you've been in school. We hope that uh, when uh, you are able to do so, that you are able to think back on the happy memories and also on the, the memories that are, are beneficial and that, that really make you uh, appreciate your time here. And so, you know, some of the things that I think of are our uh, are discussions. And so uh, the excitement of our class discussions, uh, most of your discussions, hopefully over your college career uh, were in person. Uh, but even the ones that were on Zoom or even on a message board, all of you have adapted so amazingly to them. Uh, I hope that you think about the pride that you took in research projects and papers that you were able to complete uh, and really to learn new things and to present them to other people uh, and to know uh, that you have uh, really learned and mastered how to do things that you didn't know how to do before you came here. Uh, we hope that you have your fond memories of finally figuring out how to run a regression in R and to, uh, to be happy at that accomplishment. Uh, we hope that you remember uh, office hours and uh, events and our clubs. Uh, we hope that you remember how beautiful our campus is and sitting out on Norland Quad and looking up at the flat irons. So we really do hope that you are able to take away great memories. As part of this, some of the things I already mentioned, we also know that you are taking away great skills because we had you in class. Uh, and so we know that you now have an ability to really understand uh, and evaluate data and information. We know you have the ability to communicate that to other people. We know you have great ideas about what needs to be changed and how to change it. We know that you understand the meaning and concepts of a democracy. Uh, we know that you are able to see the areas in which the United States is doing well and the areas in which the United States may be falling short uh, in uh, delivering on uh, the promise of democracy. Uh, we know that you uh, can write because we've made you write a lot. Uh, we know that you can read because we've made you read a lot. Uh, and we know that you can you know, speak publicly. Uh, we know that you can uh, really do so many things uh, that you didn't know how to do uh, before before you came here. And we hope that you know that these will serve you well. And so whether you are going on to a, a career in politics or business or nonprofits, uh, whether you are going on to graduate school uh, or uh, whatever uh, road you decide to take in life, uh, we do hope that uh, these uh, skills and lessons have served you well. But most of all, we hope that you feel that you are part of a community. And so political science, uh, the alumni of political science uh, are a community. We hope that you can uh, participate with us and think about yourself as a, a, a CU buff uh, forever. And so we are so excited. Uh, and once again, we wanna say congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you.
Hello, and my name again is Janet Donovan, and I am the director of the Honors Thesis Program this year. And as the director of the Honors Thesis Program, I've had the privilege of working with our uh, Latin Honors uh, recipients this year uh, and in uh, watching them uh, complete their projects over the course of the entire academic year. Completing an honors thesis is always something very special. And so uh, students who decide to do an honors thesis are doing something that is not required for graduation uh, and something that goes above and beyond the expectations of a Bachelor of Arts degree. Uh, and that is conducting an original research project independently. Uh, and so a lot of times when we do research, it is uh, under the supervision of someone else whose project it belongs to. Uh, and so a faculty member that is doing their own project and we are working with them uh, or uh, with a group. Uh, but an honors thesis is conducted with an advisor, uh, but uh, with the student as the lead uh, investigator uh, and also then uh, without other students. And so it is an independent project. And this is really a daunting task. Many students realize when they're getting into it uh, how, much, uh, how much work it is and, and what a unique um, opportunity it is. Uh, many students don't realize until they get started uh, quite uh, how difficult uh, and uh, the, the process is involved. Uh, but what I can tell you is that everyone uh, whose uh, honors designation I am announcing today uh, has completed this process uh, and done so in a year where it was very difficult to do so. Uh, and so in a year uh, where uh, we weren't able to meet uh, in person with advisors, uh, where students weren't able to meet in person uh, with people in our data lab, uh, where they weren't able to conduct interviews in person uh, and, uh, and the like. And so they did it uh, and they did it under especially trying circumstances. And so again, receiving Latin honors is al always uh, a significant uh, honor, uh, but I think this year it is uh, a special accomplishment uh, for having done so uh, during a pandemic. And so now I am going to read to you uh, the names, uh, the uh, titles of their honors theses, um, their advisors, uh, and their honors designation. So Maximilian Chambers, uh, completed his honors thesis, Foreign Aid Spending, Institutional Development, and Economic Growth. Uh, his advisor was Dr. Derdarian, and he received the designation summa cum laude. Anton Freeman completed his honors thesis, The Relationship Between Democratic Values and the Decision to Vote, an Examination of the Strategic Manipulation of Democratic Values in the Short Run, with advisor Dr. Bickers, and received the designation summa cum laude. Adam Garfinkel, completed the honors thesis, will punctuated equilibrium theory help us explain the development surrounding COVID-19 and environmental policy with advisor Dr. Bilica and receive the designation summa cum laude. Ariana Gudarzi completed the honors thesis, the intersectional conceptualization required to understanding the collective's diminished political power as systemic in the context of sexual assault against black women with advisor Dr. Bayard de Voyo and receive the designation cum laude. Hank Graham completed the honors thesis, A Better Way, Policing Tactics and Public Support for the Police with advisor Dr. Baird uh, and received the designation summa cum laude. Kelsey Grant completed her honors thesis, Political Agenda Setting and Climate Policy in the United States with advisor Dr. Bilica and received the designation summa cum laude. Sarah Hoff completed her honors thesis, The Genocide Corruption Nexus, a critical analysis of violence and corruption in contemporary Asian regimes with advisor Dr. Dedarian and received the designation summa cum laude. Haley Heinzelman completed her honors thesis, U.S. States on Policymaking, How the COVID-19 Pandemic Drove Policymaking Decisions and Increased the Role of Governors in a Time of Lacking National Leadership with Dr. Bilica and received the designation magna cum laude. Caitlin Hires completed her honors thesis, Pronatalism and Women's Employment, a Critical Analysis of Policy and Rhetoric in Interwar Europe with Dr. Fitzgerald and received the designation magna cum laude. Mariah Jimenez received, uh, completed her honors thesis, um, Colorado Populist and the Colorado River, Colorado River uh, an examination of how Coloradans' attitudes and knowledge affect Colorado public policy. Um, with Dr. Vanderheide and received the designation cum laude. 
Jenna Solomon completed her honors thesis, a study of food insecurity policy, city communication efforts, and the factors limiting policy enactment in the United States with Dr. Bilica and received the designation summa cum laude. Sabrina Stern completed the honors thesis, Economic or Identity, Explaining Support for Catalan Independence uh, with advisor Dr. Fitzgerald and received the designation magna cum laude. Cooper Thayer completed his honors thesis, Accountable Systems to Prevent Greenwashing, Understanding the Impact that Public Policy Demands for More Sustainability on, Has on Business uh, with advisor Dr. Bilica and received the designation summa cum laude. Nicholas Turco completed the honors thesis, The Sports Culture and Climate for LGBT plus athletes and members of the University of Colorado Boulder's NCAA athletic program with Dr. Bilica and received the designation summa cum laude. Abigail Weeks completed the honors thesis, Evaluating the Social Equity Impacts of California's Carbon Offset Programs with Dr. Vander Heiden and received the honors thesis designation of summa cum laude. And last but not least, Julie Woolen uh, completed the honors thesis, Political Engagement on Social Media with Dr. Wallach and received the designation of cum laude. Just reading these titles again reminds me of the journey uh, that it was completing each and every one of these projects. And I have to say, I am just so proud of all of our honors thesis students this year for coming up with their own ideas for research projects uh, and for creating these really unique and amazing uh, projects. Uh, that will stand uh, the test of time uh, and have certainly earned them the honor of Latin honors designation. Thank you. We've reached that point in the uh, celebration of uh, graduation where we read the names of the spring 2021 political science uh, graduates. One of the things that we always do just as we lead into the reading of the names of the graduates and have them come across the stage is to announce the Teacher of the Year Award. This is an award given um, to the person, uh, the faculty member in political science, whose colleagues have judged them as having done the finest, best job of um, as a teacher in this uh, past academic year. It was a very tough uh, competition this year. We had some marvelous uh, candidates. Uh, but I am delighted to announce that the Teacher of the Year Award for 2020-2021 in political science is Professor Sarah Soki. Uh, many of you have had her for classes uh, on comparative politics and particularly uh, uh, post-Soviet Eastern European politics. So congratulations uh, to Sarah. And so now, if we were together, this is where students would begin uh, queuing up to line to, to walk across the stage and and receive a uh, a diploma from me as the department chair and our uh, associate chair for undergraduate curriculum would be reading the students' names. I'll be reading the names. We won't obviously be walking across the stage, uh, but we are delighted to uh, be able to uh, say the names uh, and and have family and friends. Uh, celebrate the um, accomplishment of each of the students whose name is read as a political science major graduating uh, in this spring, in this very strange year that we've just come through. Uh, so uh, these are alphabetical order. I will try my very best to pronounce names correctly. I'm sure I'll get some wrong. Uh, forgive me in advance uh, if I mispronounce uh, your name, um, but I will make every effort to pronounce them correctly. First is Jack Riley Adams, Sarah Elizabeth Alshuler, Joseph Alexander Alvarado, William Coley Armstrong, Andrew Baker, Brianna Barney, Claire Marie Bauer, Fiona McIntosh Baum, Brett Baxter, Jess Anthony Baccara, Scott Michael Belford, Jacob J. Bennett, Haley Monette Bennett, Ryan Michael Berger, Joshua David Gregory Bly, Benjamin Emmett Brasselier, Jenna Elise Bretthauer, 
Catherine Rose Brocken, Benjamin Stephen Brown, Jacob Breyer, Caitlin Sarah Burns, Noah Jamal Cadigan Deutsch, Blaine Campbell, Ellis Grant Carroll, Lindsay Nicole Carter, Maximilian Christopher Chambers, Isaiah Demarcus Chavois, Wu Sung Choi, Trevor Mark Christofferson, Anne Lucille Chaffee, Jasmine Ray Colin Dunham, Juan Contreras, Haley Suzanne Cooper, Ismail Dashti, Margaret Benton Davis, Chase Alexander Davis, Maria Carolina De La Torre, Isabel Avadine, Oliver Burke Dickhausen, Emily Marie De Gregor, De Greg, De Gregorio, Gregorio, excuse me, Kaylee Sierra Dykstra, Corey William Ernest, Austin Michael Fields, Anton Joseph Freeman, Adrea Kiana Fryer, Kelly Ray Gallagher, Joshua Nathaniel Garcia, Louise Gilliam Garcia, Katie Jasmine Garcia Martinez, Adam Harrison Garfinkel, Miriam Jamal Gulam, Claire Isabel Gilbert, Ariana Gudarzi, Hank David Graham, Molly Catherine Grabink, Ayush Raj Garung, Gabriel James Haley, Abigail Hansen, Sarah Judith Sockleap Hoff, Ryan Patrick Hinkle, Kylie Brielle Hinsred, Bethel Hiyabu, Cole Thomas Hollins, Yuk Su Hong, Lillian Grace Hotz, Isabel Xenia Hucker, Caitlin Ann Hires, Alexandra Taylor Jacobson, Anya Jilson Newworth, Mariah Catherine Jimenez, Brian Thomas Thorpe Johnson, William Tucker Kaminsky, Dennis Nathan Kanaviski, Jamil Kasahan, Cameron Kelly, Catherine Laura Kelly, Spencer James Kingston, Madeline Marie Kretsch, Kip Leibowitz, Max Kelly Lemieux, Elizabeth Ann Limkow, Emma Marie Levy, Rye Fraser Livermore, Katie Lee Lockwood Shabbat, Isaac Moises Lopez Pena, Alyssa Jade Luffman, Jackson Samuel Lutzker, Tori Brooks Lysick, Noah Xavier Martin, Pierce Reed Maine, Riley Hope Maine, Matthew Charles McCarthy, Jack Thomas McGrail, John David Metzger, Chloe Mike, Benjamin Lee Miller, Ellie Marie Mills, Tabitha Minsky, Aileen Isela Morales, Jack Evans Mori, Sion Gabriel Moro, Brendan 
Mulcahy, Leonard Tri Newen, Connor Jerome O'Keefe, Ryan Nicole Oberst, Kevin Ordinez, Mason Jacob Owens, Arya Parasnas, Andrew Elias Payne, David Pijor, Jennifer Marie Porter, Doran Jake Ramirez, Francesca Ramunda, Jackson Levy Randall, Leela Genevieve Roberts, Daniel Allen Rohrbacher, William Patrick Romano, Jacinda Reem Romo, Rachel Francis Ross, Nathan Scott Rora, Isabella Grace Rosario, Aaron David Rubin, Joseph Quentin Sagrillo, Chandler David Sanchez, Rachel Sarah Schnapper, Adam Morgan Schweisberg, Grant Thomas Sim, Hannah G. Schooladoter, Jenna, Jenna Ray Solomon, Isabel Barrett Sperber, Sabrina Nicole Stern, Caden Stice, Thomas Cooper Sullivan, Elizabeth K. Sims, Samuel John Talner, Janeth Terrazas, Cooper Thayer, Eric William Thomas, Kyle Alexi Taustic, Amanda Alexandra Traxler, Taylor Turban Lambert, Cindy Turgeman, Aiden Michael Van Alstein, Catherine Elizabeth Vesper, Isabel Veronica Vigil, Alexandra Nicole Walker, Joseph Waxton, Brad Weber, Abigail Rose Weeks, Catherine Weimer, Maxwell Alexander Werner, Harrison Gannon White, Lauren Page Wilbur, Shane Wineski, Julie Catherine Wolan, Mary Carolyn Woodhouse, Madeline Mary Wolger. And that is our class of 2021 political science graduates. Congratulations. So this is where you can virtually, we can do this simultaneously in a virtual sort of way. You move from your right to your left, the imaginary tassel on the imaginary cap that you are wearing, and you move that tassel from right to left, and you are graduates of 2021, and congratulations. And now the faculty of political science department at CU Boulder would like to say their congratulations to you as well. Um, well done. Uh, it's been wonderful having you as students. And, um, uh, and thank you so much for allowing us to be your faculty uh, during this last uh, few years together. Congratulations, spring 2021 political science graduates from the faculty and staff of the Department of Political Ooh. Science. Ooh. We, we Yay. applaud Ooh. you. Congratulate you. Hi, everyone. My name is David Brown. I'm Divisional Dean of the Social Sciences. Welcome to the 2021 political science graduation. First, I want to thank Ken Bickers, the outgoing chair of the political science department, for being chair over the last two years, and in particular, the last year and a half, which was a very trying time. I'm sure when he signed up to, to come in and fill in for a brief respite, uh, it turned out to be something that uh, nobody had foreseen. And I just want to say hats off to the way that he's kept the department going and in fact thriving during the pandemic. I also want to thank the staff. They worked very hard at keeping the, the train on the tracks, the wheels on the bus, however you want to put it, 
And so a lot of what's going on today with respect to graduation is due in no small feat to what they've done over the last year and a half. Finally, I want to thank, uh, I want to thank this, the faculty. They're, uh the the things the backflips the all the different modalities that they've had to contend with and keep their research going uh has just been phenomenal and their spirit in in trying new things and making sure that the students get the education they need has just been phenomenal so i want us i want to thank the faculty as well i just have a few brief remarks as political science majors, you're entering into a world that's got a number of different problems. I don't, I don't need to be the one to tell you that. You've already figured that out. But let me just talk about a few of them and how I think how important your education is to helping solve them. First is political polarization. Families have been split apart by politics over the last few years, uh, and I, one could see even even say over the last few decades. You've learned about the different issues on different sides, and you've also learned how to discuss these issues with different people in a classroom. Please take these skills and use them not only with your families, but also out into the world because it sorely needs it. The second problem, of course, has to do with racial injustice. This is not unique to the United States. It exists everywhere, but certainly it is a problem that endures in the United States and it will continue to endure. However, given the things that you've learned, the tools that you've uh, accumulated, this is an area where you are uniquely qualified to help move society in the right direction. And so this is something that you've, uh, through classes you've taught, through interactions that you've had with classmates and faculty, these are the skills that you have please go out and help use them in this endeavor. Finally, there's democratic institutions themselves. There's no guarantee, I think, as we've learned, that democracy is going to stay with us forever. It's something that has to be nurtured over and over again. I think the best way to guarantee that is to have an educated and engaged and excited population, a society that's willing to take on the problems, is civically involved, and understands the issues that need to be solved. Political science majors are uniquely qualified to do that. Now, I know that puts a lot of pressure on you, but let me just say that I'm extremely optimistic when I see a graduating class that has the skills and actually the grit that you guys have shown go out into the world. Because for me, as an educator, that's the best guarantee that society We'll keep moving in the right direction. So I just want to sort of say thank you in advance to all the great things that you're going to do over the lifetime and the careers that you're going to have. I'm so excited about it. Thank you.